all right tgif guys welcome back it's troy d welcome back to the channel troy d 24 7 mall on point reviews all day every day and today i succumb to popular demand i guess after the father's day video it's time to do this today we're going to review a very popular one let's just call it seducer part three this is none other than parfums de marley carlisle royal essence man if you've heard about carlisle you know and you're on the edge you don't know if you're gonna buy it or not should you get full bottle what is it like despite what everybody else has said of course some reviewers out there hype reviewers probably paid reviewers this one right here no hype review time to find out today but before that we're gonna go hit our music Okay, welcome back, guys. Boom. Parfums de Marly. Carlisle. Man. This one right here is basically my third Parfums de Marly. Okay? Started with Leighton, then Owajan, and then Carlisle. Okay? But that's not exactly the order, actually, that I would have wanted. I, I would have wanted Carlisle to be my number two. But for some reason man nobody wants to sell their carlisle it's <laughs> no one okay trust me even a friend of mine who actually owned carlisle was like oh it's not exactly what i thought it was so i was like okay then just sell it to me and he was like no <laughs> so it was a. Uh, I mean it was between like literally buying a full retail for carlisle or just waiting and for me i opted to wait and then I finally got it. So this is my third. Uh, the fourth being uh, Leighton Exclusive. Okay. So but anyways, why is Carlisle so beloved? Why do people love Carlisle? Why do guys love this perfume by Perfumes de Marley? And I'll tell you why. Number one, uh, this is a very seductive, uh, manly perfume that it, it leans dark but not really okay it leans dark but it doesn't mean that you can only use it in certain cir circumstances um just looking at the notes you know you have apple and nutmeg and those top notes basically create the appealing side of it uh the appealing side of carlisle makes it a day-to-day -to, -day, to be honest like this is not I don't really feel the whole like, oh, you know, you got to go formal with this. You got to go like black tie with this just because it's kind of dark. The apple and the nutmeg really do provide that great opening that I think it's literally anytime, anywhere. Now, the standard Parfums de Marly DNA right here comes in when you have the tonka bean, you know, the it sort of like adds a sort of like that spicy spicy part there's some rose in it but then there's also vanilla and patchouli okay the vanilla literally creates that warm cozy feeling all right um add that with the patchouli and you've got this really nice cozy warm you know uh feeling which is for the wearer the wearer of carlisle like that's one of the self-satisfaction benefits okay so just imagine you have the kind of like that seductive dna that uh pdm has and then you have the warm cozy feeling so that's exactly why people just don't want to let go of their carlisle bottles because it does both okay it does you know the the outward going there's the outward benefits of it which is like you know very seductive very awesome smelling from other people but at the same time the wearer you know you get whiffs about you get whiffs of it you know all throughout the day and uh those are very warm and comforting very nice very nice now people will say that this is a combination of Leighton and herod uh that there is like a tobacco type scent and i think it's just the combination of the notes that they have here um you might even smell Owajan, you know, why? Because of the apple, you know what I mean? But um, 
I think because of the combination of notes, you feel like it's tobacco, but it's not, you know. Um, it's just very similar. Uh, people do compare this to Mancera's Red Tobacco. And I'll say it again, no, it's not. I mean, Mancera Red Tobacco has a hard-hitting red to uh, re uh, tobacco core that just comes out immediately stays there for a while and then the the nice part about red tobacco would be like the dry down but as for does it smell like it i don't think so because this one right here it doesn't like hit strong like that with almost like that bug spray type like tobacco you know like i don't get that at all with carlisle um one of the things to consider also with carlisle um is redundancy okay so again this is a no hype review uh almost all well sedley doesn't okay so remember i reviewed sedley like last week and uh sedley's kind of like the different one you know between Leighton, owajan and carlisle sedley was the different one um because it didn't have that sensual sexy seducer type dna um but the other three, I would say, you know, you might get some redundancy issues unless you're a bachelor or it's really like your deal. Like you really want to have like four seductive perfumes, right? Uh, you can add side effect to the list. Um, you know, you might find some redundancy if you have like Oajan and then you get a Carlisle. Yeah, you know, like there's going to be that awesome differentiation but at the same time it still does the same thing uh, that's at least to me okay it feels uh, it feels very similar in purpose okay so my suggestion is like you know if you don't own those other ones herod uh Leighton even or owajan you know it would be and, and let's say you're on a budget it would be nice to just hop in on one at least which is you know, it could be Carlisle for you, okay? Depending on what you guys prefer or what kind of availability comes your way, right? Because, like I said, Carlisle not so available, in my opinion. Um, so there is some sort of redundancy with PDM. However, if you are bachelor type of guy, man, you got to own all of them. <laughs> you got to own all the PDMs, all right? That way, you have some variation every time you try to go out on a date, at the bar you know it's gonna work out okay but like i said carlisle right here it's meant to be dark seductive but again because of that lovely pdm dna that just for some reason it just makes it like at an anytime anywhere plus the apple plus the nutmeg man creates that you know that vibe that it can really be worn you know basically anywhere and that's that's the magic of carlisle that's that's what makes carlisle awesome all right um and also i just want to say like i actually don't have Leighton anymore so i let go of Leighton. i have owajan and i have carlisle owajan and carlisle have really great projection okay i just want to say this the projection of this one is amazing Again, Siage 2, great, great for the wearer, great for whoever smells it. Uh, very, very nice. I mean, it's just all the PDMs have this like spicy, like woody appeal to it, you know, that I think I think that's what they do best. I mean, there's going to be a new PDM, by the way, Sutton, which is coming out, I think, in July and I can't wait, guys. You know, I wonder, I do wonder if it's going to follow the bloodline of the most famous PDMs. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What's your guess? Is it going to follow the bloodline of Carlisle, Herod, Leighton, Owajan? Is it going to do that or is it going to be a Sedley? Let me know on the comments. I want to know. Sedley is not bad, actually okay it's just different okay uh but yeah very very seductive there's nothing really bad i can say about carlisle the only issue would be say redundancy or if you don't have uh 
the effect in mind you know you gotta understand this is a warm cozy spicy uh seductive uh scent almost tobacco almost sort of sort of tobacco but not it's not but it's sort of okay does that make sense price wise i mean it's kind of high on the price but then you do get a 125 ml which is a lot right that's a lot in terms of like <laughs> niche collector or just perfume collector standards like that's a lot so you get what you pay for okay price wise i think it's great um and good luck trying to find it you know if you're trying to look for an, an owner that's trying to sell it that's kind of tough okay but you can check the link below uh i do have a link to um an online fragrance store that's very reputable here in la and oftentimes they do have carlisle so definitely check that out uh I'll, I'll put the link below but yeah i mean this one here is i would say it's not a 10 out of 10 i would say it's like a 9 out of 10 but then that's just me married with kids what do i know but it, maybe if it was like the single me the bachelor me i would be like oh this is like 20 out of 10 you know what i mean so um i'm pretty sure there's a lot of bachelor guys out there swearing that carlisle is one of the best okay all right, that's it. That's our review for Parfums de Marly. Carlisle, definitely a seducer. This is one of the seducers. This should be seducer part three. Arabian Night is one. S side effect is two. Probably Carlisle is three. I don't know what number four is, but Parfums de Marly, Carlisle, one of the seducers, in my opinion. Great to own. Get your noses on it. Is it a blind buy uh, worthy? Should you just blind buy it? Yeah, just blind buy it, man you'll you'll be fine okay and if you you think that this here is too much for you man you gotta read up this is a manly thing if it's a manly thing you gotta get ready for that kind of hit that somewhat harshness but it's not really even harsh just somewhat of a harshness you know you, you gotta get ready for that we're not in the aqua territory right here all right all right that's it this is troy d we're going to go talk to you tomorrow with another video, probably Enigma Ode. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys join the contest, the giveaway for next month. All right. So until then, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.